is it different from like the pot that you and I grew up around versus what's around today? Oh, well, today, I it's extremely disagree. powerful today. I mean, the chemicals that they put in it, plus, when we talk about cigarettes, we're talking about smoking pot. What's the difference? If you're inhaling horrible chem chemicals and issues like that, then that's also where the throat cancer comes from and other physical ailments. So well, to me, what's really, and, and excuse me, but why aren't we getting high on life anymore? That's the issue. I'm why high on life, I'm high on life right now. Well, well so there's something I. very and important here it. that you guys are not, ad you're not addressing. Number one, cannabis is far safer than alcohol, tobacco, or pharmaceuticals. It was legal in our pharmacies until 1937. And not only that, alcohol, tobacco, and pharmaceuticals, people are dying at the rate, women specifically, are dying at a rate of one woman every nine minutes from overdoses from alcohol, tobacco, and pharmaceuticals. Do you know how many overdoses there have been from marijuana? Zero. Zero in the history of this plant. It's a plant that can heal a multitude of illnesses it is a superior mood stabilizer and it works and the revenue and the tax regulation of this plant can heal our economy period Michelle do you see any benefit to the place where I worked Harborside Health Center what's the benefit of a place like that well, first of all, I love Stevie D. I just got off the phone with Andrew before I got on here. And I have to say that one of their philosophies of coming out of the shadows and into the light is a very, I think it was an enlightening and empowering field for me when I first had cancer. Uh, Harborside was the very first dispensary I went into. I think they're excellent role models, as you know, Morgan. There are real patients there. It is not people getting high. And cannabis works far superior over any drug, any pharmaceutical. I don't have any addiction issues. None of the people I know have any addiction issues. But if you're an addict, Howard, you're going to be addicted to anything, including chocolate. Dr. And I'm any, sorry, Dr. it is safer than Howard, aspirin. any benefit, any benefit to the place where I worked? Any benefit to a place like Harborside? Uh, the only benefit is with people with serious, you know, cancer issues and some pain issues. That I agree with. But the whole medical I uh, California issue here is a farce. It's a sham. You know, most of the people are addicts that get cards. I mean, I treat people that walk in there. They can get a card like that, like you did, Morgan. I mean, it is totally unregulated, and it's a joke. And that's part of the issue. But but what, what is really irresponsible here is that there doesn't seem to be many advocates of trying to protect our young people from this very dangerous emotional drug. And I'm sorry, but I think that the two of you are totally being very irresponsible here to our nation's youth. 